And after months of agitation and negotiations between the federal government and the government of Lebanon, about 29 Nigerian girls held captive for forced domestic labor have finally arrived the country. The House Committee on Diaspora and the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, were on hand to receive the victims who expressed harrowing experiences in Lebanon. Our correspondent, Amadin Ui, reports. The case of 23-year-old Omolala Ajayi, a single mother trafficked to Lebanon under pretext of becoming an English teacher, had shocked the world. After Omolala had appealed for help via social media, she was rescued by the federal government and returned back to Nigeria to her family on February 2, 2020. Amalala's case brought to the front burner the plight of hundreds of Nigerian girls still in Lebanon, engaged in slave labor and abuse daily. With a fresh batch of about 29 rescued girls arriving in the country, after intense efforts by the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, some of them described their experiences. I went through hell that I can't explain. I went through a lot of pain. I'm sick and I'm walking. I'm sick, I'm abused. I do my job is 24 hours. I Going to Lebanon is like a hell. Nobody knows what will happen there, but I advise the other girls to stay here in Nigeria and try to make it the way the Lord put them through, the way the Lord can put them through, because going outside there was like a hell. Even not only in Lebanon, but what I experienced in Lebanon, I pray even not for my Satan to experience it. One of the traffic girls whose identity had to be hidden says her ordeal had made her suicidal. There are so many nights, morning, afternoon that I cry. I'll be like, I, let me just die. I'm tired of this life. I almost committed, I almost committed suicide twice, but something stopped me. I remembered my mom that if I should take my life, I don't think she can survive it. Some days ago, she was slapped. Yeah. Last week again, when they knew we knew she was going to come home, our bosses, our, empl our employers, let me know, it's the masters, family had to come to the house and still beat her, even with this leg. As I yesterday, she, as she came home, um, today as she came, yesterday she still walked with this leg. The Director General of NAPTIP, Julia Okadonli, assured that the agency will not rest on its oars in reintegrating the victims back into their society. We will now uh, um, take her to the shelter, give her some psychosocial support because she's traumatized. So we have to counsel her and then rehabilitate her, empower her. In fact, she has so many people already ready to empower her. We hope that this will be a sign to other young ladies who want to go abroad for greener pastures to ensure that the circumstances they're going into are these expectations that they have when they sign up with these agents. At the same time, NAPTIP has made a commitment to enforce all laws to ensure that these agents stop doing this very, very de dehumanizing behavior that has put our girls, not as domestic staff, but as slaves in foreign countries. With a war against trafficking on course, NAPTIP says it will do all it can to ensure all human traffickers are brought to book. Amadine Ui, Plus TV Africa.